It's Keith Kelfus. I'm making a night video. Haven't made one in a while. I make these night videos when I get real inspired and I'm like, I'm going outside in the dark and I'm shooting a video. And this is when like, just that real inspiration comes out. So I want to talk about, you know, the difference between, you know, executing in your life, in your business, and just getting things done and moving at lightning speed and doing more than you ever thought you could possibly do and what it looks like when you finally start getting to that point where you're just flying and things are just happening. Like, has there ever been a point in the earlier years or points in your life or maybe even right now where you're looking at some other dude who's just jamming and you're like, how the hell is that guy doing all that? How is he getting all that done and doing all that and or having all that? Whatever that looks like to you, how is all that happening? And I'm starting to get a glimpse into that stuff in a way that I can communicate it and teach it to you. And what I'm really starting to see is when... For instance, in our case, when a man starts getting lined up with his core values and his purpose and he gets out of all the chaos and all the crap and all the band-aids that just make him feel good in the moment and he's done talking about it with everybody or, you know, conversating and this whole feel-good fest and now he knows his purpose. Now you finally know why you're here on this planet or you at least know where you want to go and it's so crystal clear to you that all the minutia in between here to there point A to point B doesn't really matter anymore like it, it doesn't matter what happens along the path because you know your end goal and that's when it starts to feel effortless that's when you can mar your face or cut yourself or physically bleed on a job site you know like oh my god i cut my finger i gotta go to the hospital and get stitches because oh my god my life I'm like, like that's like that's like in the beginning when you're unsure of what your purpose is and you're unsure of your you know your direction but once you got it down it's like you become this just soldier who you just start executing. One, one big point I want to bring up while it's on my mind is phone calls and time wasters. When you start to get to the point when you're on the phone with people, you just start publishing, you know, what's the point of this phone call? What's the information we're going to exchange right now? And let's get to the point. Let's exchange important information. What do you need from me? Be clear. Tell me what you need so I can help you. We can get it solved now. Okay. So if you're talking to another another guy, if you're talking to your sister or your grandma or your wife or something, that's not going to fly at all. But, Or if you're on the phone with somebody, you know, you start getting to the point where you're done with time wasters. You don't want to chat about the weather. You don't want to chat about sports. You need, what is the specific pieces of information right now that we need to conversate with each other or trade information to get to the next point to get the job done or get a higher understanding that's going to take us to the next level? See, all the stuff I'm talking about right now, if it sounds like a bunch of babble to you and Keith's going on and on and on, then you're just not in that place. You're not in that place. So that's not good or bad. It's not right or wrong. But if you can understand what I'm talking about, because I love talking to the guys who understand it, and they're like, yes, I get what you're saying, cha-ching. But you know what? That's great. I want to find a way to get to and speak in a language that you can be like, oh, that makes sense. How can I interrupt you and, and insert something smart? One second. Miko? Miko? You know what? Shame on me for not having my... Oh, sorry. Shame on me for not having my dog on a leash. See, I'm multitasking. I'm busy letting my dog out while I'm making a video. So, time wasters. When, you're, when, when I'm on the phone with people... Like, I don't want to chat anymore. I don't have time to talk about all this stuff. Every minute that is not another minute fulfilling your purpose or getting to that destination or feeling a bigger sense of freedom in your life is a minute waste that you can never get back. So don't allow people to waste your time, to tread on your time. And if someone's calling you to just, you know, whine, bitch, or complain about something, if you could figure out right there in that moment how to bring that person back to a state of freedom and serve them beyond yourself, if you find a way to, to really hear that person out and bring and open up some heart and get some, something flowing back in their life so to re, help them reconnect with their purpose so they can go, ah, you know what, I, I, 
I, I really love talking to that person or that friend or that family member. They really love talking to you because you help them in that moment. You don't just listen to their crap and, you know, ugh. How can you get to the point where not only you're living your purpose, but you're helping other people live their purpose and you're not letting people fester in their own crap, at least while they're around you anymore, because you won't put up with it. Not in a weak way, like I won't put up with that crap, but in a strong way, which is I care about you so much that I, I'm not going to let you do that to yourself right here, right now. That you become your brother's keeper and you start to be like, you know what, no negative talk. Let's not talk, let's not talk crap about other people that aren't around. Let's not waste time bad mouthing someone else. Let's talk good stuff. What are we talking about right now that's good? Right now, let's talk about something good. Good, no, I don't want to hear no bad stuff. Good, what are we going to do? Let's talk, let's, let's talk about the dream. Let's do something great. And then you start expecting that out of yourself. When you get to the point where you're, you know, you start catching yourself wasting time thinking about stupid thoughts that aren't, I don't know, just dwelling on stupid crap. No, let me think about something good right now. What am I going to do to make it work? What am I going to do to turn this thing around? What am I going to do? Why is it going to work? Those type of thoughts are lined up with purpose. Those type of conversations are lined up with purpose. And those are the things that are going to get you to the point where you're moving at lightning speed. See? When you, uh, who was it? David Data said, go lock yourself in a room with a notepad and a pen. Lock yourself in a room with a notepad and a pen and don't come out until you know what your purpose is. And another great saying I like is, all of a man's problems stem from his inability to sit quietly in a room alone. Because it, he's not lined up with his purpose. If he's always in this cycle babble and his thoughts are racing and all that stuff, I can talk about this because I've been through all that stuff and I'm coming out of all that stuff and I can look back and see how it all happened and progressed and how I fought my way out of that cage, out of all those traps. It's because all those traps whether they be real physical traps or most of them emotional or psychological traps that are trapping you in your life and all these brick walls that you can't get through, right? It's easy to just go, it really is easy, easy to go quote a $10,000 job and bang it out and go make five grand in a couple days. Easy. Or it's simple. It's simple, but it's not easy because you got all this crap stopping you from going out and doing that. All these excuses, all these reasons. What if you can get so lined up with your purpose and you know where you want to go so clearly and you got it so clearly defined that boom, 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 all that minutia along the way that blocks you just starts to dissolve, right? It feels like you're taking a step backwards. Like, oh, I don't want to deal with all that stuff. Or I don't have that problem. That's not me. I just need to get my shit together. It's not like that. It's, see where I'm going with this? It's hard to talk about and describe this because the very language negates it. We don't even have a language structure in place yet that allows us to talk about this type of stuff because it's in a texture of consciousness that resides in the subconscious mind. It's totally different than, you know, at one plus one equals two. And this is how you build a business. You pass out business. I'll tell you how to build a business in two minutes right now, okay? Put a bunch of ads on Craigslist every single day. Call up the newspaper. Set up a weekly advertising plan with a newspaper that says you do lawn care and landscaping or snow removal, whatever you do, right? Call up everybody you know, let them know. Get a bunch of business cards printed. Go every business door to door to door and everybody know. Give them all business cards, right? Then go on Facebook, let everybody know all over all the social networks. Go to Google and set up your Google account that says, boop, you get your little bubble, I'm in business. And then just run like hell knocking on doors and then till jobs start coming in. When the jobs start coming in, uh, you sell everything you own, that stupid crap anymore, and you use it, and any money you have saved, if you don't have any money saved, then go buy a shovel, and you go dig ditches and holes until you get money. Every penny that comes in from your business, beyond what's just enough to pay your bills, you reinvest it in your business, and you keep selling more jobs and doing more work over and over and over and over and over and over until you get enough money where you could buy a trailer, and then you could buy more equipment, and then you give it this, and you get so busy that you gotta hire a guy, and you pay him 12 bucks an hour, whatever, for every hour that he works, then he shows up. Now you got a guy working for you, and then you got two guys, then you got three guys, and then you're swamped, then you got a painting like it's simple but it's not easy 
The only thing stopping you from doing all that stuff, say if you're a newbie guy and you want to get your business off the ground, is all the blocks and the fears and what if it doesn't work and the excuses and, and all this crap going on. Or the biggest fear is, what if I do all of that that you just said, Keith? What if I do all of that and it still doesn't work and I lose everything and I end up homeless in a dumpster? Well, I'll tell you one thing. If your intention is in line properly and you don't know exactly where you want to go and your purpose isn't right, you could end up in a dumpster because the most important part is lining up with your purpose. What's your purpose? Let me know. I want to know. Tell me what your purpose is right now in the comments. What's your purpose? <laughs> All right, Audi.